Before the announcement of prophethood, our beloved Prophet وسلم, made three business trips, three trips. One was to Yemen and two trips were made by Rasulullah to Sham before the announcement of prophethood. On the first journey to Sham, our beloved Prophet وسلم, was approximately 12 years of age. On the way to Sham, the caravan is stopped at a town called Busra, where there was a monastery. Now, a monk by the name of Jarjis, who was also known as Bahira, he lived in that monastery. Now, this monk, he immediately recognized the signs and the descriptions of the final prophet, the final messenger of Allah Almighty Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as are mentioned in the Torah and the Injil. Once he recognized these signs, these signs of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, these were the talks of the time. This is what the scholars of those eras, the followers of the prophets والسلام, they used to tell everyone of the coming of the final prophet of Allah and they knew of when the, the arrival of that time the signs of that time and the signs of the beloved prophet وسلم, as well so Bahira once he recognized these signs and he realized that the final prophet of Allah Almighty is here then Bahira he paid great respect to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and he respectfully invited those that were with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam the entire caravan to come and have a meal with him and he said to Abu Talib your nephew Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam he is the leader of the entire world and he is a messenger of Allah almighty and has been sent as a mercy for all of the worlds Bahira he goes on to say that I have seen trees and rocks prostrating and bowing to him and clouds shading him. He also has the seal of prophethood between his shoulders. Therefore, do not proceed any further. It is actually better for you to sell your merchandise here and return immediately. Return back with Rasulullah to Makkah as the non-believers of Syria are his greatest enemies. If they see him, they will most definitely attempt to take his life. Listening to these words of Bahira, Abu Talib, he took heed from these words and he sold all of his merchandise in Busra and then he returned back to Mecca with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. SubhanAllah. Once again, right, the people of knowledge saw the sign, right? So how knowledge is important. So my dear brothers and sisters, whenever you have an opportunity to acquire religious knowledge, do it. And Alhamdulillah, Dawat Islami provides us many avenue of acquiring religious knowledge. Salluwa al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam.